If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. To create a purchase order in QuickBooks Online, click the plus new button in the navigation bar. Then click the purchase order link that appears under the vendors heading in the drop down menu to open the purchase order window. To choose a vendor, select one from the Vendor drop-down in the upper left corner of the window. If selecting an existing vendor's record, their information then populates the other fields within this form based on what you entered when you created the vendor's record. Alternatively, you can type a vendor's name or select the Add New Choice from this drop-down to quickly add a new vendor. The Purchase Order status appears below the drop-down. If needed, you can click this status to show another drop-down where you can manually change the purchase order status by selecting either Open or Closed. To the right of the vendor drop-down is an email field. This field is populated with the vendor's email address if you entered it when creating the vendor's record. You can enter an email here if you didn't enter it when you created the vendor or if adding a vendor on the fly. If needed to send copies of this purchase order to others, Click the CC slash BCC link by this field to show additional CC and BCC fields in a drop down menu. Then enter the email addresses into these fields as needed and click the Done button. The mailing address field is populated with the vendor's address. If creating a new vendor, you can enter their billing address here. To the right is a Ship To drop down that lets you select a customer name for drop shipments. If you select a customer here, then their shipping address information appears in the Shipping Address field, assuming you entered a shipping address for the selected customer. If this drop-down is not used, then the Shipping Address field instead shows your company's shipping address. The Purchase Order Date field shows the current date by default. If needed, you can click this field to select another date from the calendar drop-down that appears. Below this field is a Ship Via field where you can enter a shipping carrier preference. If you enabled location tracking, a location drop-down also appears at the right side of this window. If you have enabled multiple sales tax agencies, then you will also see a permit number field appear here. To add a tag to this transaction, click into the Tags field and then select a tag from the menu of Tag Choices. Repeat as needed to apply tags from any relevant tag groups you have created. Alternatively, to add a new tag, type the tag's name, select it from the Add Choice in the drop-down menu that appears, and follow the on-screen prompts to add it to a new tag group for reporting purposes. Next is the Category Details section. Note that the Category Details section is rarely used in purchase orders as it defeats the purpose of receiving inventory items by using a purchase order. You can click the black arrow to the left of the Category Details label to collapse and expand this section. If you do not use Products and Services, then you can use this section to instead select the accounts affected by your purchases. You can click into the Category column to select the account, like a Supplies account for example. Then enter the Purchase Description and Amount into the Description and Amount fields. These can also be assigned to a customer or class if enabled by using the Customer and Class fields. Below the Category Details section is the much more commonly used Item Details section. You use this section to enter the products and or services you are purchasing from the vendor. You can also collapse and expand this section by clicking the black arrow to the left of the Item Details label. You can select an existing product or service from the Product slash Service Fields drop-down. If SKUs are enabled, make sure the SKU field's value is correct. Also ensure the value in the description field is accurate. Then enter the quantity and rate into the quantity and rate fields to calculate the amount that is then shown in the amount field. You can also assign each item to a customer or class if enabled by using the customer and class drop-down fields that appear here. When you click into the last line in either section, a new line is automatically added. You can also click the Add Lines button under either section to add four new lines to the desired section at once. To delete a line item, click the Delete button, which looks like a trash can, at the right end of the line item to delete. To delete all the lines in a section, click the Clear All Lines button below the desired section to clear. 
Below these sections, you can enter a message to the vendor into the Your Message to Vendor field. This message appears on the purchase order. You can enter information for yourself into the Memo field. This field does not appear in the purchase order. Finally, the Attachments field lets you attach a file up to 20 megabytes in size to the purchase order. In the toolbar at the bottom of the window are buttons for Cancel, Clear, Print, Make Recurring, Save, and a drop-down Save and Send button. The choices in the Save and Send button's drop-down menu are Save and New and Save and Close. To cancel the purchase order, simply click the Cancel button. To clear all the data from the current purchase order, click the Clear button. To print the purchase order, click the Print button to open a print preview PDF of the purchase order in a new window, which you can then print and close when finished. Doing this also saves the transaction. Clicking the Make Recurring button opens the Recurring Purchase Order window where you can create a new recurring purchase order template if desired. Clicking the Save button saves the purchase order. You can also click the Corresponding Desired Choice from the Save and Send drop-down button to save the purchase order and then either send it, close the window, or create a new purchase order. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.